Mastering English phrases, understanding, suck up to someone. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the English language and unravel its mysteries one phrase at a time. Today, we're exploring a very interesting expression, suck up to someone. This phrase is widely used in both professional and casual settings, but what does it really mean? And how can you use it correctly? Stay tuned as we break it down for you. The phrase, suck up to someone, is an informal expression used to describe the act of trying to gain favor with someone through flattery or sycophantic behavior. This usually involves complimenting the person excessively, agreeing with them more than usual, or doing things to make them like you, often not because you genuinely feel this way but because you want something from them. It's not considered a positive trait, as it implies insincerity and manipulation. While the exact origins of suck up to someone are a bit murky, it is believed to come from the early 20th century. The suck part might relate to the idea of sucking in or trying to ingratiate oneself by being overly attentive or subservient. It's a vivid metaphor for trying to get on someone's good side, often in a way that's seen as overly eager or desperate. To help you better understand how to use, suck up to someone, let's look at some examples. In the workplace, Jim is always sucking up to the boss by staying late and complimenting her management style, even when he doesn't agree with her decisions. Among friends, you don't need to suck up to me by agreeing with everything I say. I appreciate honesty. In school, he's trying to suck up to the teacher by bringing her coffee every morning. These examples show different contexts where the phrase might be used, highlighting its versatility but also the negative connotation it typically carries. Understanding synonyms and antonyms can expand your ability to express the concept without overusing the phrase. Synonyms include brown nose, flatter, ingratiate oneself. Antonyms would be alienate, antagonize, Offend. These words and phrases allow you to discuss similar behaviors or attitudes but with different nuances and in various contexts. We hope this exploration of the phrase, suck up to someone, has been enlightening. Remember, while it's natural to want to make a good impression, genuine interactions are usually more valued than insincere flattery. Keep practicing your English and don't be afraid to experiment with new phrases and expressions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. See you in the next video.